The quality of your life will increase dramatically if you begin to believe and act like an observer in your life. Observation causes awareness. The happiest people are the most self-aware. Many people believe that success is a matter of being in the right place at the right time. And I think there's a, probably a grain of truth in that, but get this. You gotta be aware that you're in the right place at the right time. If you're not aware that you're in the right place at the right time, it ain't gonna happen. That depth of observation causes you to vibrate much faster at a higher frequency. It causes you to have more gratitude and appreciation. It causes you to be more present with other people. Your decision making, your thought processes, your ability to control your emotions are exponentially connected to your ability to be observe and be present. And this is a skill, it is a talent, and it is not easy. We gotta go from philosopher to initiate to master, from knowledge to experience to wisdom, from mind to body to soul, from thinking to doing to being, to learning with your head, applying it with your hands, knowing it by heart, to believe, to behave, to become, to become so conscious of your unconscious self, to know thyself so well that you don't default back to that old personality that's a set of hardwired thoughts and attitudes and beliefs. Nothing changes in our life until we change. Your point of view creates your reality. Reality doesn't create your point of view. If you can change your point of view, your reality changes. If people want to be successful, be happy, I think it comes down to two things. It comes down to having the curiosity to want to know yourself. Like really go deep about who are you, what are your beliefs, and what do you really value, what do you stand for, what do you stand against, all these different things, your capabilities, your habits, your routines. Once you know yourself, you need to be able to, to have that courage, that boldness to really live it. Because I really do believe, ultimately, the life we live are the lessons we teach. Which means you'd have to start thinking about what you've been thinking about and change it. You'd have to become aware of your unconscious habits and behaviors and even what you say and modify them. And then you'd have to look at those emotions that keep you anchored to the past and decide if those emotions belong in your future. So most people try to create a new personal reality as the same personality and it doesn't work. We literally have to become someone else. Thoughts are the language of the brain, and feelings are the language of the body. And how you think and how you feel creates a state of being. So most people have experiences in their life that brand them emotionally. They feel fear, they feel anger, they feel bitterness, they feel frustration, they feel insecurity. And those emotions then become part of their identity. One of the reasons we lack such gratitude or even happiness in our life is it's all happening so fast. And so we've lost sensory acuity in our life, which means is that there's just information and stuff happening all the time. We're busy, our phone, our laptop, our computer, our TV, our Netflix, the meetings we have, the calls we have, our family, the obligations, the travel, whatever it might be. We just don't have time to observe. And so everything just happens quickly and we don't get any of the juice out of our life. And as a result, that's very difficult to be grateful. The depth of experience is the quality of our life. Self-awareness is a superpower like knowing yourself. We're here to, to grow and we're here to give. And that's when we feel the most empowered, knowing who we are and then, and then being who we are. You are God's highest form of creation. There's nothing on the planet that will even come close to you. We all came from oneness, source. We came from singularity. We came from pure love, where there's no separation. There's only been two constants in your entire life, God and you. How much attention do you pay to each of you? You gotta give yourself that gift. It's why you're not happy. It's why you're not more productive. It's why you're not more influential. It's why you're not richer. It's why you don't have the emotions you want. It's why you don't have the body you want. It's why you don't have the things you want. Whatever the things are that you're lacking, it comes down to self-awareness, presence, and connection with oneself and one's maker.